Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome to Fallout 4. These are my continuing settlement build tour videos in Fallout 4. These builds I made a long time ago in 2018 and I am showing them off now before I lose them so that I can replay the game and make new builds in the future. But before I do that, I want to show you all my old builds that I made when I originally played this game. Before I start this build, I just want to thank everybody who's been watching this series and watching these videos. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. If you can hit that subscribe and bell notification icon and give a like on the video, I definitely would appreciate that. It helps the algorithms. Enough said. Before I go into uh, this one today, which is the Grey Garden area in Fallout 4, um, this one in particular, I never did finish. So I'm giving you a fair warning before we do this walkthrough. This is an unfinished build. This build does not have any decorations. It does not have any kind of... Uh, I guess you could call them world objects uh, placed inside to decorate it. It is just simply a structure. However, I wanted to show this one because I like my overall structural design of this build and you can see my overall idea and theme that I had going into this when I built it and that's pretty much it this is a small build it is not big and again it this is more about the structural design in this area and less about the decorations and that sort of thing but uh, we, you will see that as we go in here so let's do a quick walk up first of all uh, I am at uh, Gray Garden is where I'm at I don't know why that's not showing up that's odd Anyway, I'm at Grey Garden, so what I did is built a little fortress around the greenhouse. And it's all-encompassing, and it protects our settlers when they're on the inside. And I use the outer structure as living quarters and storage and so forth. But there's actually quite a bit of space in that outer area. Let's walk up to this. As I walk up, you'll notice I did not utilize the bridge. A lot of people do utilize the bridge in this build and build things onto it, and you definitely can. You can see I kind of built some stairs up at the top, which are shouldn't be there, but they are, um, is where I built some stairs so I could at least go up to the top and take a look at the bridge. I didn't utilize it in this build. Right now, this is just a small build that goes around just the greenhouse. Also keep in mind, I built this a long time ago with mods and uh, some of those mods may be missing and uh, so there may be some things missing. Uh, I can already tell you some of the walls I had around the entrance here on this corner are missing. Uh, but I do have the entrance gates still there. Uh, so as you can see, there's the railroad that goes through that way. And as you as you walk up into this area, um, I have this little corner that's basically open and it overhangs and it allows this area because this is on a hill. There's one thing you need to understand about building in Great Garden. It's on a steep hill. So this is not a flat surface to build on and it can actually be very uh, challenging. So what I did is utilize that on the downslope of the hill here. I made it like an opening. This is the entrance and then I built the facility around it and it's got this natural overhang which allows it to have that covered entrance uh, but at the same time you can go inside above and you know go around the whole perimeter of the building and like have uh, windows that look out from this uh, corner which is a really cool idea. I use these metal pillars here to, uh, you know, make it look like it's supporting the structure. This is not just an overhang that's floating. It is structurally sound. 
as you come inside uh, we have some just standard turrets uh, there is electricity in this one uh, but on the outside here I didn't go real fancy I just put a couple of turrets you know protecting and we have some standard uh, wooden entrance gates and another turret and there was some walls here so there would have been a wall right behind this so that the doors you know would close and then the whole entrance would be protected you wouldn't be able to go in just th right through it like you can right now but then as you step inside we have a fire pit that kind of just gives it a nice warm glow at night and uh, another area of entrance where you can come inside this facility and then more turrets on the outside just a very simple defense on the outside nothing real crazy um, what protects it mainly are the walls because as you can see they're concrete and then up there is wood so this is a this is a uh, well protected area we've got a brahmin uh, feeding trough right as you come inside and that just gives uh you know that area for them there and then we do have a couple of guard posts uh, a guard post there and a guard post there so i mean there are guard posts watching this area as well from whoever's coming in and out protecting our settlers on the inside so uh, it's a nice bit of protection and then i do have a couple of uh, inside laser turrets and that's just in case anybody barges right on through um, this is the last line of defense basically and it's the laser turrets and they'll definitely get you and, and as you can see here the landscape look how steep that slopes that is a steep landscape slope so I needed to use these bottom you know building blocks basically to build this up because when we get to this back end it's kind of level but then to get all the way down here on this slope it's quite high and that it's that highness that gave this gave way to this uh, overhang that I was able to do which is really cool uh, these lights are supposed to be lit up they're not working so well <laughs> so as we come inside we have our robots of course um, I do have this um, radiation cleaner here um, this might be a random object I just placed here I didn't really mean to put that there but hey it's here so it's part of the build now and I guess it's in an okay spot because as you come through to trade and so forth clean off that radiation so it works and of course we have our mute fruit trees here fruit mute fruit trees here um, so we have a little bit of gardening going on at gray garden and uh, some corns and everything people are working people are doing their stuff but really the main thing about this structure is as you can see I've got a glass interior wall so when you're on the inside of this uh, all 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 of its glass so you can see to the inside so it's lit up very well and it is uh, goes around the complete perimeter of this place uh, so it's just a big a big rectangle actually um, and we have a door that goes up to this section which is our sleeping quarters and I'll show you that in a bit and it goes all the way to the back you can see there's our water filtration system and then here's the greenhouse itself that's already here in the settlement gray garden so basically what I did is built a perimeter around the greenhouse but the greenhouse obviously being all windows still allows all the light to come in to act as a greenhouse so it doesn't hamper this greenhouse in any way by having this perimeter because it's all glass so that's quite cool and i didn't really do anything inside the greenhouse itself this is pretty much its default configuration it's the greenhouse they're working on things they're growing things it looked good as it was so i didn't really change it Now as we come over to this area, this is kind of our covered trading area. As I said, people can come in here to trade. And I built up this uh, platform so that it's flat because again, this is a really, really sloped surface. 
you can see here. So it's built up. And this allows people to, um, they have to walk up the stairs, but they can stand up here and go to the general store. Huh? Which, like I said, is undecorated right now, but it, there would, just imagine a bunch of general store stuff back there. You know, shelves and shelves of stuff, stuff filling this. There would be stuff there. And there would be another one here also. I don't know where it went. I guess it's a mod that I had that is disappeared. But there would be another station here and another trading opportunity. And it's kind of covered from the sunlight. Give them some shade while they're doing their trades. Uh, we've got our recruitment satellite. And again, these would be working, I guess, no, I've got electricity on. I guess uh, my electricity is not working right now. But anyway, normally that would be working. It's not right now. But anyway, that's how this would be kind of set up. Quite simple. Like I said, this is a real simple and small build. One that I never finished. Another filtration system at the back here. But let's take a peek on the inside and kind of show you where everybody would sleep. In this section here, this is where everybody would sleep. This, uh, I do that every single video thing. So as we open this door, we kind of go up here and check this out if you've never seen such a site. It's just beds. It's just beds. <laughs> Yeah, pretty crazy to be honest. Um, there was a lot of space to work with here, honestly. And like I said, I'd never finish this build, but this was just for fun. Just a structure. And look at that view distance down this corridor. I mean, you really have a lot of space to work with here. So what I did is just by creating this perimeter around Grey Garden, I had these extremely long hallways to work with a lot of space so I put all these beds so yeah a lot of people can stay here um, they've got lighting which is working and um, I would have done more to this area obviously I would have maybe partitioned it off and done some more things to it and so forth uh, so this is unfinished but I mean this is kind of cool um, they're protected inside um, they've got a lot of natural light coming in from the outside through the windows even an upper part up here which is bringing in fresh air um, but just a really big space that to uh, work with here and let's just keep going around let's go around the whole perimeter in here we have our power for the whole entire place is just all routed right here to this one one thing and again, here's another corridor of space that I never filled out, never finished. Um, I don't know what would be here. Maybe bathrooms, maybe showers. That would be a good place, actually, since the water pumps are on the other side. This would be a good place for the bathrooms and showers. I just never finished it. So if we open this door and go down to the back side here, you can see our water filtration and where they fill up their buckets of water and there's a couple more there so i've actually got four of them here so quite a bit um so yeah this might be a good place back here for the showers and bathrooms and stuff i suppose something like that and it's kind of private and hidden away back here natural light through the windows and we come through this side and this is going to be crazy when you see this Look how much empty space is on this side. So this one is like double wide the space of the other side. So I had so much space in this area to do a lot. And I love these uh, ceilings. I love the ceilings here. I love this barn looking look to it. Maybe this was where I had my bathrooms. So this little corner here looks like I had it partitioned for maybe bathrooms or something. Uh, but yeah, this would be a nice little corner here for bathrooms and showers. Uh, but then it's just this amount of space here, which I'm just like, wow, I could have done so much with this. Uh, just imagine the kind of decoration or partitions you could make and different entertainment spaces or whatever to work with, right? It would be incredible. Uh, again, natural light coming through the windows. Um, I don't have lighting in here, uh, artificial lighting right now, because again, I never finished it. 
but just imagine that there would be artificial lighting and stuff and it would do something it would look like something I guess um, there's a door here that would lead to the outside two doors so you have two doors straight across on that one and then straight across on this one they're straight across from each other and I did that on purpose and as we come to the right side here uh, this is be where all the um, sellers would be with their goods and stuff so they'd have a door inside and then you know they'd come back here and they'd have their shelves of stuff to work with and then they'd stand here like this and sell stuff and they actually got a pretty good view above the settlement too so they could yell if like they saw raiders coming from the hilltop or whatever uh, the people here would be able to spot that and and say something so they got a pretty good view distance out there you gotta try the slot machine. It's the best. and then uh, this would be kind of like a kitchen a kitchen or dining room you'd have your uh, drink machines here and I was kind of building some kind of interesting desk set up by clipping things into each other you can see kind of what I was this going for be. here along a long uh, bar kind of setup deal and there would have been things food to eat there would have been chairs here and there's tables and you would kind of sit here and this is what I like what I did with this area this is kind of a half window wall so half of it is window at the top half protect you from something like rain or whatever but then the bottom half is open so that you'd have fresh air coming through and you'd kind of be connected to the outdoors even though you're indoors so I kind of like this half window half railing system kind of a deal again this build was all about a unique structure and trying to develop something uh, kind of different looking so again you'd have tables here and you would kind of relax and you'd have a big bar set up but just look at that space mm, that's a lot to, to work with there then you would come to this other area and this would be this hallway which again now we're in that overhang bit you know that's at the entrance of our settlement this is the overhang bit and so we're in that overhang you have some windows here but what this area would be and again another long hallway I would think of this area as the storage area this would be like where we store our fruits store our wheats store all the things with that we produce uh, this would be storage for that so we'd have storage on this side and I guess you could have storage on the other side too but as you look through the window you can see just how cool this place looks I mean it's a real basic setup and I do wish I had finished it uh, because it could have been very cool if it's all you know decorated well but it's not right now just a basic structure and look at that the beds so you get the idea of what I was going for on this build it's pretty much encircling or encapsulating the gray garden greenhouse within a structure so that it's protected and they can do the stuff in the greenhouse without having to worry about raiders on the outside coming in and they would be protected and have plenty of space for sleeping and entertainment and storage and trading and then it would have just one entrance one way in and that would be this corner here which works out well because the ground flattens out right here and then the overhang just is a really got a really cool vibe to it and that's pretty much my gray garden build what I want to show you next is what this kind of looks like on the outside from a distance so you can get like a bigger picture of of it so you can see how it uh, how how much this slopes here on the landscape and how it's kind of like having to sink and be built into the landscape I mean look at these angles these are pretty steep angles here to work with there was a mistake however when I made this that I wasn't aware of until I made it all and then I was like oh that's a mistake and here is the mistake I could easily go from this corner here and just jump up 
I'm at uh, walking speed now, but if I'm at regular running speed, I can just jump right on top of this and go right in. <laughs> so, yeah, raiders can get in because I didn't think about that. This corner is just too close to the ground level. <laughs> Even though that end is way high up off the ground, this end, because of this hill, it makes it too close to the ground and easy to just jump right onto it. So, yeah, that's a mistake. Oops. But you get the idea. So you can kind of see how this whole structure is, is put together here. Oops. I'm stuck. We'll just quickly go all the way around it so you can get a, a view for it. See, it's well protected because it's basically just walled off. And I also messed up here too. Obviously, we got a floating building here. That's That ain't good. But again, unfinished. So there you go. And then the entrance coming up here. So that's my gray garden build overall view for that. I am not going to do a night video of this settlement because there's nothing to show at night. Uh, I don't have lighting on the inside. Just very basic stuff so I can see so I could see what I was doing when I was working. Uh, the lighting down here isn't even working. So there is no reason at all to do a night video of this. So I'm going to skip that in this video this time. But normally I would show a nighttime little tour at the end of each video that shows you what the settlement looks like at night. This one is just uninteresting right now. So there you go. That is my early gray garden build I did not utilizing the bridge like most people do. In this one, I did not. It's unfinished. It is not decorated at all. It is more of just a structural idea. But you can see what I was going for on the edges. There is a lot of space to build within and I could have really, you know, made it look nice if I had spent a lot of time on it. So there you go. That's just a pretty quick overview of Grey Garden. Perhaps that will inspire you for some designs of your own. Uh, I just want to again thank everybody for watching and stay tuned for the next one.